A court hearing took place today in the case of an East Greenwich man charged with animal cruelty. And a group of animal rights activists used that hearing to call for changes to Rhode Island's laws. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen tells us about it. New at 6. Steve? Well, Shannon, the group that demonstrated outside of court in South Kingstown today claims loopholes in Rhode Island law are allowing people to get away with animal cruelty with relatively light punishments. Inside court, a pretrial hearing was held in the case of Eugene McQuaid. We first reported on his arrest last month. McQuaid, though, was not at today's hearing. State police say they found several dogs outside in squalid conditions on two properties owned by McQuaid, one in Exeter and the other in Coventry. You can see three of the dogs here. Now, outside court, demonstrators told us this was the third time McQuaid had been charged with animal cruelty, and they tell us they want those convicted of animal cruelty to face prison time instead of fines. They also want to close the loophole that allows dogs to be kept outside if they're used for hunting. I mean, this is why they keep doing it, because they know that they can get away with it, because the laws aren't strong enough right now to protect the animals. The laws are protecting them mm -hmm. and not the animals. So, and this is why we're here and we keep doing this mm -hmm. until something gets done and it, and it stops. The same group held a protest in Warwick last month over dogs that were also being kept outside in the cold. In that case, the Rhode Island SPCA investigated and determined that the dog's owner was not breaking any laws. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.